High density environments can make for bogged down networks. That's where Cisco's comprehensive access point technology can make all the difference. In this edition of Tech Talks, we'll go over the unique roles of wireless master and subordinate access points. Next. Master capable APs consist of the following models. CBW140AC, CBW145AC, and CBW240AC. There are two primary functions for this set of master capable AP models. One, they serve as the direct wired uplinks that bridge wireless traffic to the main network. And two, master capable APs elect a single master AP to control all wireless functions. During the setup of the wireless network, negotiation occurs automatically and promotes the best master AP for an election algorithm. We can find additional details on the master AP election negotiation in the Administration Guide for Cisco Business Access Points. In a wireless non-mesh deployment, the wired APs that aren't promoted to master APs are called subordinate APs. They play an important role when unexpected or scheduled outages disable the master AP. Subordinate APs are still master capable and will elect and promote a new master AP to take over control of the wireless non-mesh network. The non-mesh deployment designation reminds us that the hardware topology, wireless deployment, and wireless functionality are dependent on the actual configuration set at day zero. Regardless of the deployment, we must remember that there can only be one master AP at any time on the network. And those are the key roles of the wireless master and subordinate access points. Thank you for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.